The Vintage Tech Museum has repaired two 7L12 Spectrum Analyzer plugins. In both instruments, the problem was shorted tantalum power supply bypass capacitors. This is a common problem across the Tech product line. The problem with the first instrument was shorts on both the plus and minus 15 volt supplies. A short on either one of these will cause the main frame supplies to shut down. On the 7L12, some of the suspect caps are accessible, such as these two on the plus and minus 15 supplies. On the first instrument we repaired, both of these caps were shorted. On the second instrument, the subject of this video, both of these caps were okay, so it was necessary to look further. One te technique for finding shorted caps is to apply a high current and look for smoke. However, most of the possible suspects are buried in the 7L12 and smoke would not be easy to localize. So it's necessary to disassemble the instrument and test caps one by one. You could locate suspect caps on the schematics, but tantalum caps are fairly easy to identify, so a purely visual approach may be faster. Most tantalums are of the dip type and look like small balloons. Some are axial like aluminum electrolytics. Most of the failing caps we found on this and other instruments are of the dip type. Many of the suspects are inside shielded compartments, so the shields must be removed and likely caps measured with an ohmmeter. Good caps on supplies other than the shorted one should measure several hundred ohms or more. A cap that shows a fraction of an ohm is either bad or on the shorted supply. Lift one lead of the cap and test it for a short. Again, many of the possible suspects are buried in the instrument. To access the center section, remove a screw at the top of the back and loosen a nut toward the front. The nut only needs to be loosened, not removed. Carefully pull out the center section, taking care not to snag cables. It's hard to find a good way to grab the section to pull it out. Remove the covers from shielded sections and look for suspects. The shield covers are held with small screws. The bad part in this case turned out to be a 100 microfarad 20 volt unit inside an L-shaped cover on the PO phase lock board. In this view, one lead has already been lifted. Sometimes when tantalums fail, they have burn marks or small silver beads on the outside, which may be from escaped molten tantalum but this cap showed no visible signs of failure. A 100 microfarad 25 volt aluminum replaced the tantalum. If physically possible, replace the tantalum with an aluminum of at least twice the capacitance to compensate for the increased effective series resistance, or ESR, of the aluminum compared to the tantalum. But bypass caps are usually not critical applications, so in this case using an, an aluminum of the same capacitance as the tantalum does not appear to affect the performance of the instrument. This display shows the repaired instrument displaying the calibrator, which displays multiple signals at 50 MHz intervals. The 100 MHz spike is widened by feed-through of the local FM stations. This is the display of the local FM stations picked up with a short whip on the instrument input.